Alright, everybody, welcome to the Murray State TESPA preseason matches. I'm your host, Monty. You can call me Woogie. Uh, bringing the games to you tonight from beautiful Murray, Kentucky. Uh, well, tonight we have Murray State University versus Fort Hayes State University. Uh, if you missed if you missed the last games that we had, uh, Murray State, uh, about a week or two ago, played against... Uh, Davenport State University, I believe they're the Panthers, as well as, uh, thank you for the follow, uh, Ilian1, appreciate that. Thanks for supporting the stream. Uh, they also played Northwood as well. Um, won the first game pretty handily, uh, pretty tight game against Davenport in the second, which knocked us out of the Varsity Invitational Qualifiers. It's been a bit of preseason matches. Uh, first match tonight uh, is against, like I said, Fort Hayes State uh, University. Uh, and after that, I believe we play both matches tonight. I, I did not get that confirmed, but I think both are scheduled no matter win or lose. Uh, and we also play against, um, I forget who the other one is, but we will uh, find that out before too long. Uh, just waiting for the game to get underway. Uh, we can go ahead and talk about our starting, starting lineup. Um, looks to be pretty much what we expected from the last games. You've got the Chief, uh, quote, Aziz, Flav Filth, Bonsai Tuna, and Anher. You're most likely going to see the Chief and Aziz on their tanks. Uh, Flav Filth and, quote, support. Bonsai and Anher as the DPS. Of course, I guess they could change it up. Uh, seems unlikely. But we'll see how that goes tonight. Meanwhile, on Fort Hayes, of course, I, I don't know anything about these players. But we do have Finn, Dr. Plaguewell, Carlos Biggs, Lone Wolf, Cat, and Vinaraz. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Not really sure. Uh, and it looks like the players are just making sure everybody's ready to go. Should be starting momentarily. Thank you again for tuning in. If you haven't already followed, follow the channel. Hey, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, Murray State Esports, pretty new organization. It's, it's been around for a few years, but really in its current iteration, it's not been around that long. And uh, looking to go places here, that's for sure. Second match will be against Boston University. And it looks like we are about to start getting some final GGs and, or excuse me, GLHFs and GGs will come after. What and the first map is going to be Oasis. And in the chat, if you've got anything, notice anything with the audio, please sure, uh, be sure to leave a comment. Uh, I'll try to adjust as we go. It's a different setup from what we had last time. So not really sure how it's going to sound. Didn't have a whole lot of time to test it. Teams are assembling their heroes. Most likely going to see the double shield meta, I would assume, from both teams. Saw a lot of the double shield meta, of course, earlier today in the Overwatch League Grand Finals. Come on, let's bring it together. I can't wait to get started. And of course, San Francisco Shock were dominant their performance earlier today against the Vancouver Titans. Hello there. Hello. It looks like for some reason we weren't given proper uh, spectating controls. For some reason. Looks like we're gonna stick in third person for now, so I'll try to narrate. Sigma bringing in the shield. You got Chief and Inherit. There he is. Both laying down their shields. Uh, it looks like it is gonna be a double shield meta as well, except they're going Farah Mercy on Fort Hayes side with the Junkrat. Murray State rolling in. Already, Bonsai with the triple early, and as he's cleaning up on the fourth, that's gonna be a big push early. The Chief as well, before the control point even unlocks. Murray State wiping the team. Fort Hayes with a team kill. Excellent start for Murray State. Hello there. Thank you again for the follows. Have MSU Jimbo and Ruler of Oreos. Great name. Double shields perpendicular to each other, cutting off that left side. We'll switch over here to some first person action. Aziz trying to take down the enemy team. May now. They've switched over to the May, the Junkrat for Fort Hayes. They, that's a pretty early switch. I guess they decided to run that meta a little more. But Anher gets the pick on the May. That's May taking out the other one. Fair up top trying to rain down in some rockets. But brilliant halt coming in from Aziz. Chief backing off a little bit to throw 
his orbs at the Mercy and the Pharah as well, bringing in the Coalescence. And this is interesting, uh, Flau Filth on the Moira. I believe last time we saw more of a, a quote on the Moira. I guess for this map they've decided to change it up a little bit, or maybe based on recent practices, I'm not sure. But the Chief taking down May as they push forward. Murray State backing up to give them a little breathing room. And Fort Hayes can't even lay a, a foot on this first control point. 61-0. to zero. And it's all too easy so far to Murray State, but as we know in Overwatch it only takes one mistake from the team to uh, get them on the point. They start taking time. Lucio providing some speed to his teammates. Here goes the Chief, taking down the other one. Brilliant play there. Gets taken down from the Cat. Double till, double kill, excuse me. Farah ult coming in. But Bonsai managing to kill the Farah Cat before she can do much more damage. Let's switch over to Bonsai. He goes in, he's trying to wreck that back line. Is he gonna take out the Orisa? No, he doesn't. He fades away. He's got his ult. That is gonna be useful here with 91% taken. You're gonna probably See him go in and use his ult. He gets one, he gets two, he gets three. Bonsai taking out four. Quote, finishing it up. Ten player kill streak from Bonsai, and that is the first map secured for Murray State Racers. And again, uh, apologies. We normally would prefer to have a free roam camera. I think they have changed that, unless my uh, commands here have changed for some reason. Well, s sorry, I know this is a bit unprofessional here. I don't think it's my commands. I think the camera settings aren't properly set. So we will have to deal with it uh, as we go. Maybe change that up for the next one. All right. And we will start on quote giving the speed boost to Murray State. Let's group up here. Understood. And Chief, the captain, leading the line. Shields coming to prevent that Farah. It looks like they're gonna stick with the Farah Junkrat combo that they started with. Will they switch again, like they did before to the May? Chief just continuously laying down those Sigma shields. No cooldown, of course, on those. They can just be pretty much spammed in immediately. And her. We saw him perform big when it counted for Murray State against both teams uh, a week or two ago. Can he do it here? He gets, well, the freeze, the assist on one. Roadhog coming in. He ice walls him, gets stunned, manages to pull off the freeze. Yes, and that Roadhog is going to go down. Can he do the old May snipe? He's trying to. Flafield got the coalescence when needed. He may just pop it here. And decides to wait, manages to get the kill. Whoa, does. Which means he doesn't have to use it yet. Switch over to Aziz. And Murray State running slightly different here on Oasis. You can see Bonsai over to the McCree. We'll switch over to him momentarily. See if he can use his golden weapon here to take out the enemy Farah. Getting those shots in. Finn manages to get the pick on Flavfield. That's one healer down for Murray State. They need to back off here and play it carefully. Trying to break the shield. McCree getting some headshots in on the Orisa. Chief as well getting the kill there. Takes down the Junkrat. Bonsai with calm shots here. He needs to back up. The Farah's got the jump on him. Fair's going to chase him down. And Bonsai stays calm and gets the double. Excellent play from Bonsai. Quote, doing his job, healing up, providing the speed boost, and switching back at the appropriate moments. Sigma, Chief, and Aziz both laying shields on their sides. Just preparing for the teams to move through both. Uh, Fort Hayes is going to move through the left. Looks like Murray State is going to hold this one so far, 78%. Fort Hayes has got to make something happen here. They haven't, I guess they have switched from the Junkrat to the McCree. I don't think that's enough to switch over. Cat gets a double again, a triple, quadruple, and that pays off. That boost from the Farah, or, or excuse me, from the Mercy onto the Farah was huge there. But look at that, and her holding the point for the team. Just making Fort Hayes come and take it. And quote, doing what Lucio does best, harassing. Putting Murray State into overtime, that's what you need. Holding on until his team can provide reinforcements. He's got the sound boost, so he has a little more survivability. He's gonna just stay on those walls, skating away. Now he can back off because his team is here, and here comes Murray State. Can they do the second shutout in a row and win map one? The pick on Finn. Here comes Murray State, two picks. Could it be three? They get Cat, they get the Orisa. 
Mercy's down. Murray State ticking away the overtime, and it looks like they're going to win this with a team kill. Murray State Racers take the map. Victory. Another egghead. This is way higher stakes than Overwatch League Grand Finals. Absolutely. Collegiate Overwatch is where it's at. We can see the play of the game from Bonsai. This is at the end, of course. Uh, overtime taking away. Pulls out that high noon and actually gets the double from it. Pretty impressive. Don't know if he even really thought he was going to get a kill or if it was to try and back them up there, but he definitely got the double out of it. Epic. Pure class. Flatfield, deservedly. That's how we do it. Taking the uh, the kudos there. Excellent, excellent healing. 